We finally have a Triceratops mod coming to the game. We have a lot of news regarding the Absentia, Acrocanthosaurus, and Divine Beast Dinosuchus to dive into as well today. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. If you are new and want to be kept into the loop with all Path of Titans mod news, feel free to subscribe. But let's get right to it. <laughs> We're starting off with Triceratops because we now know there is a Triceratops coming to Path of Titans and this one is being made by Fortress who I believe works in conjunction with the Wrath of Goliath's team and if you don't know who Fortress is actually he is the same person who made the Tenontosaurus mod which you can check out and play right now it's a really cool mod it's a really nice mod and it is available to play right now inside of Path of Titans. Regardless this has actually been having some serious progress on Fortress's Triceratops because you can look onto the Wrath of Goliath's Trello board and it will be right there. This has a lot done already. 28 out of the 39 tasks have been completed. So that means there's only about 11 tasks left to go, which is basically like one third, even less than one third of the development left. With the majority of the tasks left being programming, everything else seems to be ready or just about ready, which is really exciting. I cannot wait to cover this mod. Speaking of mods to cover, Caprosuchus. I can't wait to cover that as well. Fei Long, if you can hear me, if you're watching this, whenever Capro's ready, let me know. I'd love to do an, a, a showcase of it. Same as this, by the way. Fortress, if you do see this and you want to let me, you know, I'm, I'm here. That being said, we do have some things to showcase for this mod so far. We have the full model, which looks absolutely awesome. It looks great. I love the, the curvature in the horns, the length of the horns. One thing that I have noticed, however, is that the frill on this Triceratops is smaller than that of the EO Triceratops, so that would be a good way to uh, spot them out. Another thing that I do believe is quite noticeable is the fact that when you look at the Trello board, there's also a rework to EO Triceratops, which gives it the big, gnarly, curved horns that the Triceratops mod has. And by the way, I just said gnarly unironically. I know two people who will be getting on my back calling me an old man or a surfer for that one. Uh, it is what it is. So we do also have the baby model for this mod and it looks absolutely adorable, although we can't see much of it due to the camera angle. It is a cutie though, and I absolutely love it. Can't wait for this Triceratops to come to the game. Really good work on the model so far, and I can't wait to see the animations and everything like that. Super excited, and I'm curious how this would stack up to the EO Triceratops, because now it has a decent Ceratopsian rival. <laughs> Now, a lot of you may know already the Smilodon, which is being made by Rosport and most of the XR Giller team, is something that is getting a rework. As I previously mentioned in a previous video, which is on the screen now, feel free to check it out if you want to be kept in the loop of that mod news. But that being said, this now has some stuff to showcase, mainly in-game. We get, firstly, size comparisons. Firstly, the first one, most important showcase, is the old Smilodon model and the new Smilodon model. It's night and day in the differences. The new one looks so much better. It's so much bigger. It looks absolutely fantastic. I love this mod a lot, and the progress that Rospol has done with this so far is absolutely incredible. Fantastic work to you, Rosport. I, I love, you can see the work, the progress that you've had in less than a year, by the way, and that's really cool to see. And I know, I know, someone's going to be getting at me in the comments because the only words I'm saying when I'm complimenting is incredible, cool, or awesome with a sprinkle of gnarly. We ignore that last one. Look, I need to extend the vocabulary. Maybe one day, but for now you're stuck with them three words. That being said, we also get to showcase what the model is like. It's bigger, probably by 50% compared to the old Smilodon. And we also get to see it compared to a Ceratosaurus as well, which showcases it more in line with Cerato's size now. This is probably just a little bit smaller, but you have to bear in mind the posture and everything with these dinosaurs and this Cenozoic mammal it's obviously going to be night and day and will make it seem smaller than it is but it's a lot more muscular than the Serato and would probably definitely put up a good fight against it. That being said there are also some in-game pictures of the model in some scenic environments looks absolutely gorgeous love this mod a ton can't wait to see this rework in-game and showcase it off and probably try and do a comparison between the before and after because this is some absolutely amazing work by you Rospaw well done. Now, this part I did mention, Absentia Acrocanthosaurus. Well, 
yes, we have Acrocanthosaurus, which has got some nice progress on it. I'm actually going to talk about the progress in a second. But looking at the Trello board for the Absentia team, there are two more creatures left in development. So, or to come, they're not announced just yet. We obviously have Acrocanthosaurus and Geostermbergia, and then two to come after that, which are unknown. That being said, we have seen it. By the way, I just want to say it's probably a herbivore because we have yet to get a herbivore and it's probably an aquatic because we have yet to get an aquatic from these guys. But I don't really want to like guess because I could be really horribly wrong. And we all know that my predictions are so amazing. Let's skirt back to the Acro Canthosaurus, the Absentia Acro. This is what is left on it, the progress that's left to be completed. There's four tasks left for the animations, 13 tasks left for the subspecies. These are mainly to do with the baby models for each subspecies, like the morphs for them. Then we have 21 tasks left for the sounds, three left for icons, and four left for implementation. Now, you've got to take Trello boards with a grain of salt. This might not be properly up to date, and uh, that would would obviously mean that uh, some of this stuff might be already completed by now by the time this video goes up so take that with a grain of salt then we move to the flyer which is geosternbergia of course i've already mentioned this one that will be the next thing that they work on but after that there's two more creatures that are not confirmed just yet but there is something that would probably be announced once acrocanthosaurus is released and once geosternbergia starts to take its time we'll likely see a model of one of these upcoming creatures soon <laughs> And now we end things off with Dino Sucus by the Divine Beast team. This is a mod that quite a few people are very, very excited for. Even I am. I'm very excited for this one. I love the Divine Beast mods. I think they're great. And I, 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 I think they put a lot of time and effort into everything they make. And they have quite a big team as well. They're like PT. They're just pumping out mods, which allows for some consistency and fresh mods to keep coming out. That being said, it's confirmed that Dinosuchus, I said in my last video, was not in testing. Since that video came out and all that, testing started and testing completed. That's been confirmed, that's done. Now it's awaiting the approval from the developers of the game. However, we do know some stuff about this mod, and that is that the um, back of the head takes more damage as it leads directly to the brain. If you hit the front where the snout is, it will deal less damage than if you hit the front, the back of the head. It's also easier to fight a Dinosuchus on land. It's a given. It's a crocodile. It will be weaker on land. It's where it's more vulnerable. However, it will be more vulnerable to faster, smaller dinosaurs when it's on land as well because, you know, they're able to get around it and make use of the weak spots on this creature. The Dinosuchus is well stacked with abilities, kind of like the Ampelosaurus is by the Divine Beast mods. That is stacked as well. This includes stuff like a 90 degree turn and 180 degree turn attack, powerful tail attack, death roll, lunge and grab, as well as the ability that acts like a radar when you're in the water you're able to detect if the creatures near you are herbivores or carnivores when you can't see them properly that being said you'll also be able to grab and carry creatures as well which of course is cool and like Sarko. I wonder if you're able to carry Sarko. Speaking of carrying, you're able to grab up to the weight of Allosaurus and Lambiosaurus in combat weight. Does that mean Sarko's on the menu? Not too sure. Maybe it is, actually. However, do bear in mind, this mod is now awaiting approval, which could take some time because we all know by now that mods take a while to be approved. This was confirmed by an Alderaan staff member that said this. Mods are currently taking longer to approve due to an issue related to how mods are downloaded. Our developers are actively working on resolving this issue. So do bear that in mind as well. This could take a week, it could take a couple of days, it could take a month. We don't know. That being said, that's all the mods that we have to talk about today. We had four, technically a little more of the Absentia reveals. But yeah, let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. This is the big question. What do you think the Absentia reveals two remaining creatures are? Do you think it's a herbivore, an aquatic, or do you think it's completely something different? Do we have any hints about it? Let me know in the comments. If you are new and you enjoyed the news, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.